motorsport auctions, the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment, visit their website for more details. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Bosa Race Roundup. This week it's round two of the BMW Z4 and Master MX-5 Championship. We're at Brands Hatch GP Circuit today and it is Van Delden who takes his first pole of the event ahead of Gulenicke and Underhill. Neil Bamber starts fourth in the Z4 ahead of Actar and Bird. David Rowan's in seventh ahead of Phil Gregory and Ryan Walker. Ian Thorne in the first of the Thorns in tenth and last but not least it's Jonathan Beresford. To the MX-5s and it's Adam Thorne, his second pole in two races. He's looking like a real contender for this championship. Russell Barnes is ahead of Scott Malcolm with Matt Sawyer in fourth. Fourth, Ricky Green and Darren Ford are next, ahead of Al McCain and Ian Robson. Jan Malazavert, Chris Bottrell and Marion Bradshaw finish up the field. Bowden Solutions, Acorn Printing and MKB Racing head the team standings after the first round. Let's see what happens after round two. So before we go to the main race, let's go on board with qualifying. This week we're going on board with Adam Thorne. Adam Thorne, our pole sitter in the MX-5, is coming to start his fastest lap of the qualifying session. His time of a 1.43.812 is actually the fastest recorded on danlisa.com, the software we use to record all our results. So Adam coming now up towards the Druid Turpin. Hard on the brakes into second gear around here. Making his way down to Graham Hill Bend and onto the Cooper Strait. Bowden Solutions are looking strong again this week. Joining Adam on track in the team is Axar, his father Ian Thorne and Russell Barnes. So a great turnout for them. Adam coming down now towards the GP part of the circuit. We're going to go through Surtees onto the Hornthorn Hill. Real tight left-hander. It does close up on you a little bit. So hard on the gas down the straight now. If you haven't seen it on the website, we have announced our next special event, the Flight of the Phoenix. It'll feature the Cadillac CTSV and the Australian V8s. That's going to be hosted at Phoenix International Raceway, and that is on the 26th of November. If you fancy signing up for that, head over to the forums, get your name down. There are a few drivers already signed up, and it does promise to be a fantastic final special event of the year. Hopefully Bamba and Van Delden will be there. Don't forget they are fighting it out for the top of the driver of the year standings. So who knows what will happen during this event. That special event may come in handy for them. Adam Thorne's been through Dingledale then, now through Sheen Curve, up towards Sterling's Bend, the next left-hander, and it's back on towards Clearways to finish off the lap here at Brantach. So nice and clean through there from Adam. And down now and under the bridge, returning to the normal part of the Brantach circuit. Into Clearways and Clark Curve. Try not to run wide and onto the grass here. Very well done there from Adam. So back onto the main straight. That is Adam's qualifying lap, we're going to head to the main race now and see how the race got started. Acorn Printing are the team wear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Quinton. See the video description to learn more. It's an Acorn Printing 1-2 in the Z4s then and a 1-2 for Bowden Solution in the MX-5s. Revved up and ready to go, we're away. So Van Delden leads. Underhill has the advantage over Gawenicke down to turn one. He's got the inside line. Actar's made a move up the inside of Neil Bamber, so that pushes Bamber back down to fifth. Bowden Solutions up into fourth place. We come up to the hairpin for the first time. Now Neil Bamber's made a move back round Actar, you see. So he's gone round the outside of him there, back up into fourth. Move back to the MX-5 for the start of their race. So the Bowden Solutions cars get off the line well. Darren Ford's had a bad start. Butterall and Malesva making up places. Gary Bradshaw holding back. Is he trying to pick up more bonus points as he did last week? Don't forget he picked up six points in all. So through turn one now. A pair of Bowden Solutions cars still out front. We're watching Jan Malesva in the middle of that pack. Tight squeeze around the hairpin. Everyone nice and cautious through there. So no real incidents on the first lap then, we're going to skip to lap 3 on board with David Rowland. He's currently chasing Actar, sitting in 6th place. So through the GP part of the circuit, David gets too much of the grass and off into the wall. Does manage to rejoin the track and head back to the pits. Not after hitting the barrier once more though, so keeping out of the way of the traffic coming past. In the MX-5s, Jan Malesova was chasing Chris Butcher up to turn 2 the hairpin. Jan try and make the move up the inside, he does catch Chris though, spins him out and off the track. Chris does need repairs but decided rather than risk his pit stop too early to carry on with steering damage. Darren Ford, Alan McCain both making up places, you see Gary Bradshaw at the back there as well. Jan then went wide, that allowed McCain and Ford to make up even more places. Gary right on the back of the three of them. 
Back to the Z4s and one of our Driver of the Year contenders, Neil Bamber. He's currently sitting well within the top five. Chasing the cars of Martin Glenicky, Simon Underhill and Van Delden. Neil will be cursing himself for getting it wrong there on the grass. Spinning the car and off into the wall. Damage to the car for Neil. Van Delden looks strong out front so that'll do Neil no good at all. He needs to try and stay with him throughout this championship. From one Z4 to another, we're on board with Phil Gregory, he's been followed by Barry Bird. After the first race, Phil Gregory sat in joint 19th with Barry Bird just ahead of him in 17th. So down the main straight we go here at Brands Hatch, down towards the first corner. Now Barry overshoots that corner and is off into the sand and gravel. These two currently sit 5th and 6th, so that allows Phil to open up a gap. This is early on in the race though, this is only lap number 5, so there's plenty of time yet. It wasn't long before the Z4s caught up to the MX-5s and started lapping them, so we're on board with Martin Gwenicki coming up to the start of the GP part of the circuit. We look now past the tech speed racing cars and there's Russell Barnes in the Bowden Solutions MX-5. Martin try to go for a gap that wasn't there, spins Russell all the way round, Martin off track as well. Apologies were exchanged between the drivers on the forums and on track. You see Acta there going ahead, that puts Gwenicki into fourth. More Z4 action now, we're watching Ryan Walker in the Motorsport Auctions car. He's chasing Ian Thorne in the Bowden Solutions Z4. So through the hairpin and down through the left-hander. Ryan right on the heels of Ian's car. Come up to more traffic, more MX-5s just up ahead. So difficult to get past the cars here, so there's a tap in the back for Ian from Ryan. Ryan off and into the wall as well. Ryan decided rather than carry on to pull over now and quit back to the pits. Last week's race winner now, Simon Underhill coming past Chris Butcher on the MX-5s. There's Van Delden just up ahead as we come to complete lap number 9. So keep an eye on Van Delden, he stays out wide and then darts straight into the pits. Simon sees that, cuts the pit entrance, picks up a 15 second penalty. Well, Simon will want to try and keep with Van Delden but that penalty will do him no good at all. An extra 15 seconds in the pits for Simon. A strange one now for Matt Sawyer, he was following Scott Malcolm in the MX-5, just seemed to drift straight off the track, he's into the wall, he then rolls the car as well, now this will play a part in something that happens in a moment as well, so Matt try to get the car back round, we're going to move though to one of the other MX-5s, this is Ian Robson, he was keeping out of the way of traffic, one of the other MX-5s drip ahead, and then you just see right at the last moment, there is Talia, Ian had nowhere to go, so he piles into the side of him, repairs needed for Ian's care. While that was going on, just behind Jan Malesva and Darren Ford were having a great battle. We see Ian's car just ahead of him. So Darren takes the place from Malesva. Up towards the hairpin now. Ian deciding to keep out of the way, he pulls off and onto the gravel. We see Alan McCain's just behind this pack as well. Only two drivers for Team Cotterwork this week. It's Jonathan Beresford in the Z4 and Darren in the MX-5. To the fastest lap of the race, something we do every week. This is Van Delden on lap number 3, a 124.881. Matt is driving for Acorn Printing, so he'll pick a bonus point up, which will help in the team standings. Now, speaking of Acorn Printing, we have some new items in our web store this week. We have some brand new baseball caps. They match nicely to our new team wear shirts that are also available. Uh, from the suggestions we had in the forums, we've also launched some new coffee cups and some Bosra exterior decals as well. If you fancy any of them, then head over to our website, go into the shop section. When you click on an item, there is a link to the Acorn printing website where you can purchase them direct. We've already mentioned our next special event that's coming up on the 26th of November. If you are interested in that, then get your name down in the forums. Now, onto this event though, we are at the Okiyama next week for round three. We do still have space for drivers and stand in, so if you do want to get your name down and get involved, head over to the website. We can assign you a team and get you on the track next week. So, the usual stuff from me then, don't forget you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook, as well as news from all our partners, it can all be found there. Uh, if you do like the videos, then do remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We have new videos coming out every single week. Hopefully, as time goes on, we'll be doing more. Now, we did try and live stream this race, but for some reason, the audio wasn't working. So, hopefully, we'll have that sorted for you for next week. You'll also notice that the ticker has completely disappeared now. We did get a reply from iRacing. They are not putting it at the top of their list of priorities. It's something that we wish they would do because it would help out quite a lot of leagues that are around. So that is Matt's fastest lap on lap number three. Jonathan Beresford had let Van Delden through. He was a lap down already. He then put the car on the grass. He's the only Z4 for Team Clockwork this week. Repairs needed to the car for Jonathan. He started making his way back to the pits. The next Z4 off track was Simon Underhill. He was running well in fourth. 
Don't forget he was the race winner in race one and he had already fixed away 15 second penalty when entering the pits following Van Delden. He then spun same place as Neil Bamba, pretty much identical move. Hard and heavy into the wall, that costing him even more time. Van Delden chasing Akta after pit starts, Van Delden in second. Jan Malesba then decided it was time for a pit stop, an unsafe manoeuvre there. 15 second penalty for Jan. Hairy stuff for Van Delden. So the MX5s having a great fight was Darren Ford and Alan McCain. They say Alan McCain keeps out of the way to let his teammate through in the Z4, but in doing so allows Darren Ford to come through as well. Now this was the last lap of the race, so Darren making up places and extra points for him. Our race winner in the end though was Matt Van Delden for Acorn Printing. He crossed the line ahead of Acta and Gwenneke. In the MX5s it was Adam Thorne who took it ahead of Tech Speed Racing, Scott Malcolm and Russell Barnes in third. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. To the confirmed race results then, it was Van Delden who took the win ahead of Acta and Gawenicke, two of the Acorn printing cars within the top three, a great result this week for them. David Rowan finished in fourth ahead of Phil Gregory and Ian Thorne, Barry Bird in his second race with Bodra finishes seventh ahead of Neil Bamba in eighth. Neil having a sorry time with it at the moment, hopefully next week at Okiyama there will be improvements from him. Ryan Walker in the only Motorsport Auction Z4 this week in 10th ahead of Simon Underhill after his off-track incident. Jonathan Beresford wraps up the Z4s in 11th. To the MX5s it was Adam Thorne, two races and two wins for him ahead of Scott Malcolm and Russell Barnes. Ricky Green in 4th ahead of Darren Ford and Alan McCain. Chris Buttrell finished in 18th overall ahead of Talia and Bradshaw. Ian Robson and Jan Malezova finish off the results for this week. To the driver's standings, it is Adam Thorne who leads, two wins from two races. Van Delden moved to second, he's up three places ahead of Scott Malkin. The biggest loser into fourth is Simon Underhill after his crashes today. A key back time moves up seven places into fifth ahead of Ricky Green and David Rowland. The big movers this week are Martin Gwenneke, he moves up eight places ahead of McCain and Toya. Russell Barnes also moves up eight places as well. Neil Bamba drops five places into twelfth ahead of Darren Ford and Marion Bradshaw. Phil Gregory and Ryan Walker are tied in fifteenth and sixteenth. Barry Baird in Ian Thorne next ahead of Chris Butcher and Jan Malesva. Brendan Till's the biggest loser this week. He drops 18 places after not attending this week's race. He's ahead of Jonathan Beresford and Martin Brandon. Ian Robson and Francis Winnell and rounding up the rear is Ronnie Gibbons. In the team standings, it is Bowdoin Solutions who lead from MKB Racing. Acorn Printing move up two places into third ahead of Bentley Boys Racing. Team Clockwork lose two places and drop to fifth ahead of Motorsport Auctions and Tech Speed Racing bring up the rear on 76 points. That's it from us this week. We hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to join us next week at Okiyama for round three. Thank you ever so much for watching as usual. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.